Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how CyberArk dynamic privilege access can be leveraged upon to have a zero standing privileges to the cloud databases and so on. So for this particular demonstration, what I did, I spin off a RDS, Amazon RDS database. We are using Postgres. And uh, so what I did, so I created one strong, strong account. So this is what my strong account looks like. So here, if I go to the details, so you will be able to see all the other details like safe name, platform name, username, address, and so on. So we, so DPA will be using this strong account to connect to the target database to create the users on the fly. So what we will do for this demonstration, we will be using a utility uh, called ID SQL. So, and we are going to create a new session. So we are gonna create a new session and I'm going to change it to Postgres SQL. So here in the host name, we have to provide the details. So let me go to the connection guidance. We are going to select database and I'm gonna change it to Postgres. So here we are going to Select the host name. I'm going to use the library 10 for the user. So here we have to get the user from here. Uh, so currently we are using a uh, zero standing access to the target database. So we don't have to define this optional target user. So I'm going to leave it blank. So however, you have to provide your target FTDN. So I'm gonna copy this. So we are gonna paste it here. So you will notice there are two different ands here. So I'm gonna remove one of it. And for credential, we are, we are just telling them to prompt us for the credentials. So here you can click on advance. So for the query timer, let's increase it to 3000 seconds. So I'm gonna click on open button. So it's gonna ask me for my credential. So this is my credential to authenticate to identity. So I'm gonna supply my credentials. So then click on login button. So it takes uh, 20 to 30 seconds to get connected to the target database. So what I'll do, I'll pause this video and we will come back. So it took a couple of seconds to get connected. So I'm gonna press here. So you are able to see we got connected. And now let's try to run a couple of queries. So I'm gonna run uh, the select current user. So here, if we run this query, you can see I got connected as Ratnish Kirk and there is a random number. So this is the user got created on the fly. So let's try to count from PG user. So I'm gonna click on this query and you can see the count number is 15. So this is how end user experience is gonna look like. So what I'll do, I'll disconnect. So, so now we have disconnected from the database. So what we will do, we will go to the auditor page and we will see, so whether all the commands executed by, by the DB admin got captured by CyberArk dynamic privilege access or not. So let's go to the audit. It takes, couple of seconds for all the audit to get appeared uh, under the session monitoring tab. So what I'll do, I'll pause this video and we will come back in a couple of seconds. It took almost 30 seconds for all the events to come up. So here you can see, so this is my latest session. So if I click here, so you can see the session ID, my target DB is Postgres, database type is Postgres, and access method is JIT. So here, this is the user 
got created on the fly, Rajneesh card uh, and a random number. And if I click on the command, so this is the command we executed. Apart from that, you can see, so this is another command we executed. So, so that's it uh, on the from the demonstration standpoint. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching this short video.